Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today you join me from Kingfisher's Bridge Nature Reserve. So basically I've got the day off and I had a quick little Google search and found this sort of small reserve near Ely. Now I thought it'd be pretty interesting as I thought that I'd never have visited here before, but turns out it does actually look quite familiar. And the reason I sort of remember it is it must have been back in 2019, uh, pre-COVID, during the kids' school holidays. And the reason I remember coming here was because my son, the minute we turned up, um, he needed to go for a poo. Now, we were in the old camper van, which basically meant that he was christening the little porta potty toilet we had for the first time. So yeah, that's pretty much how I remember it. Now, like I say, it has been quite a few years now, so I'm not entirely sure what to expect. Um, we're in the depths of September now in the UK. So for the last month, the weather has been, well, we had an amazing three month stretch of summer. And then September has basically been gray clouds and a fair amount of rain. So we're obviously back to our normal UK weather. Um, this is the problem with me not putting out a YouTube video in two years. There's so much to catch up on on the intro. But yeah, I took the, the trip down here in the new van which was a little bit, not sketchy, but um, I've just recently fitted a 100 watt solar panel to the roof. And obviously it's really secure, it's held down with good quality adhesive. There's four actual mounting points on the solar panel. But when you're driving in the first all windy conditions I've driven in in a while, mixed with going past sort of fast lorries, it did make me feel a little bit nervous. And I actually had a dream the other day where the solar panel come flying off the roof. And it was one of those dreams where you really thought it was real. And I woke up and thought, hang on, I'm, the solar panel's not on the van. Um, not realizing that I was actually dreaming. So yeah, I think we're just gonna go out and explore Kingfisher's Bridge. We are quite close to Ely. So potentially if there's not a great deal going on, I might take a trip down to Wiccan Fen, which is, I'm pretty sure I've not visited there before. And failing that, I might even see if we can look for peregrines at Ely Cathedral. Because I had heard sort of rumours that there are peregrine falcons. And failing that, Ely is a beautiful little, I was about to say town, but it's actually a city. And yeah, maybe we'll go there. But for now, I'll leave you and go explore Kingfisher's Bridge Nature Reserve. So I'm at my first hide and it does seem a bit randomly placed. I mean it gives um, good views over the landscape but I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to photograph from here. <laughs> so I think I'll uh, see if I can find another hide. Okay so either the hide needs to get with the times or they're just trolling us but uh, apparently due to the COVID-19 outbreak, they've closed the main hides and visitor center. I mean, I'm not entirely sure if they, they know it's 2022 and, uh, and not 2020. Um, not that it makes much difference. But yeah, um, uh, I've got to say, I'm not, not impressed with that at all. Well, I can't believe that two years on, I'm still making this mistake. So I just set up a time-lapse just of the lake behind me. You can see Ely Cathedral just in the distance. And uh, I've got this really bad habit of having a full memory card. So effectively what happens is I've taken 300 photos and the camera basically stitches them all together and creates a 4K video. Well, what happens if you click on create 4K video when your memory card is full, effectively what it does is just gives you all the pictures and uh, you've then got to do that all in post processing which is just re right old faff so yeah i'm still making that mistake but i'm a little bit miffed still about the hide underneath because just looking out onto the sort of marshland there were a couple of kestrels um, looks like good sort of kestrel hunting ground a load of um, 
geese just flew past that would have been on a nice level for the hide. So I'm really, really hoping that it's just a case of, you know, maybe someone forgot to open the hide. Like I say, it isn't April 2020 when everyone's panicking over nothing. Um, this is September 2022 and the old, due to COVID, just it's just unacceptable uh, as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, I think um, what I'm going to do next is actually get the time lapse shot because I think it would be pretty cool. And then just sort of behind me, um, it doesn't look like there's a way to get to the lake. Um, which is a bit disappointing because there does seem to be a, quite a lot of waterfowl, a lot of birds. Um, but there seems to be a walk along the river. So I'm going to switch, go into the little hide, the little useless hide, switch to my telephoto lens. So basically the vlogging sort of segment of uh, the video will probably be finished. I'll probably meet you back in the van. And I'm going to try and really just focus on, you know, maybe getting some shots and getting some video footage of, of the animals and uh, and seeing where we go from there. So yeah, I'll probably catch you back at the van. Oh, <laughs> now I'm gonna get so annoyed. Basically the time lapse wouldn't make itself because the recording took place over two separate SD cards. So I completely give up. I really wanted it, it would make a great time lapse, but I completely give up now. Um, one thing is though, that is useful is the G9's Vlog L. Now I'm only shooting in 8-bit, so I'm not going to give myself too much room for grading. But I really, I can't be faffed with uh, sort of grading 10-bit footage. So yeah, just 8-bit uh, for now. But the dynamic range is just so much better. So yeah, I'm just going with the Vlog L. It shows just out of practice and how un youtuber I've been for, the, for a long while. Because I'm making so many little rookie mistakes and I haven't even put the telephoto lens on yet. So yeah, let's try and um, get over to this lake. The selection of birds is absolutely awesome. There, are, There is a huge, huge selection of birds. But what's kind of annoying is that on the water's edge would make a perfect place for a hide, but there doesn't appear to be any. This looks like what I'm stood on here, looks like the best, um, you know, the best you're gonna get. So I'm going to sort of scan, I left the binoculars in the van as well, so another mistake. <laughs> I'm going to uh, sort of scan the area with the telephoto lens, and like I say, I'll meet you back in the van. So, back in the van. What do I think of Kingfisher's Bridge Nature Reserve? Now, after I left the sort of platform where I was last, I took a trip down by the river, which was absolutely beautiful. Didn't really get any real decent photographs today i've just got some kind of opportunistic shots which i'll leave at the end of the video but um i definitely feel like it's a reserve with a lot of potential i actually spoke to a chap and i think he said that the place was run by a charity obviously if it was owned by the rspb i think there'd be a, a lot more money put into it for example the visitor center there was no one here um I definitely think that although there's there's been some improvements since last time I was here the fact that there's so much um, varied sort of, there's so much so, such a variety of birds by the the lake I do think feel it's like kind of wasted potential there's no hide as such by the lake and I think if you know just a few sort of little changes would really make the place a lot more attractive to a lot more people Another example is there was bird feeders by the visitor centre and they were all empty. And it's just little things like that where, I mean, I don't want to judge because I don't know the financial situation of who, who owns the place or, or what. Um, so I don't want to be too harsh, but just uh, as it currently stands, um, I just feel like a little bit more work needs to go into it. But yeah, a little bit of a down one. And I've almost made a, a YouTube career out of... Um, wildlife photography videos without a huge amount of wildlife photography and I can beat myself up about it as much as I want but coming to think of it every single time I go out I mean at this time of year I find it incredibly difficult to stay motivated it's really really hard to get myself out of the house 
Um, I'm way more of a, an outdoor summer kind of person. The winter, even today, it's just taught it things you, you learn every single time you go out. For example, like I should dress more appropriately coming up to the winter time. Um, in regard to the time lapses, I've made stupid little rookie errors all day long. And there was a point where I kind of saw myself as like a, you know, like a really advanced G9 user, someone that was, you know, absolutely smashing wildlife photography about two years ago. And then I'm just now feeling like a complete amateur. So even just getting outside, using the camera, getting to know an area, getting to know the fo um, the subjects, these are all just as important as the photography itself. And even just getting outside, carrying my bag, carrying my equipment. My equipment isn't heavy by any means, but I was starting to feel, I, mean, I have come off a night shift, but I was feeling pretty tired. And that's just because I'm not getting out as often as I used to. So going forwards, I've made it um, sort of my goal. I generally do like a four on, four off pattern at work. And I kind of just intend to at least one of those days, always get out and get out of my camera, no matter how I'm feeling, and, and just go go forward like that. Um, a few other little plans as well. Um, if, if I get out in the van, obviously now I've got the solar panels, new battery and inverter, so I can probably after sort of a, a day out, um, start editing some of the videos and photos while I'm actually in the van, which should be pretty cool. And uh, yeah. Is there anything else? Because I completely <laughs> forget. Like I say, um, it's good to be putting out videos again. Um, I'll leave you now with you know, the photos that I did get. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely see you on the next one. Till next time. Thank you.